healthy fish nailed that chicken liver the weather's been changing it's been cooling off and the fish are getting ready for winter and they'll be stocking up and feeding it's a nice fat fish turn it back feels like a better nice one another nice large mouth Just keep getting better. Real nice small mouth. That's a heck of a channel cab. Real fat I had been getting fish biting my liver off and get, they were taking it and I was missing them. So uh, this time I decided to run a stinger hook off of it and all I do is tie on a bottom hook and then um, wrap the line around it and just bring it up pretty close there. What you do is get a piece of liver and string it on. The second hook I'm actually going to put another little piece on it give them a little piece to steal and they'll come in for the kill and that works for these smaller fish that the big channels usually just take it got it boy it's been a good night it's the fourth one I've caught using that rig I've been getting um, bit off pretty easy and I ran a stinger hook this time and you can see here's my main hook it's a two odd octopus hook and then I'm just running like a small small hook behind it nothing big and that's what seems to be catching them so we've been getting bit off a lot lately they're taking our bait and that stinger hook seems to help hooked up with a nice channel cat I think it's middle of the afternoon He's using night crawlers and wasn't too successful so I thought I'd throw out a piece of chicken liver just to see just goes to show you never know the channel cats will bite in the middle of the day too if you can get into their spots not too bad probably two or three pound fish strong in the river though just chicken liver single hook about a half ounce of weight there it goes oh that slime dude I probably wouldn't have caught that last channel cat if we hadn't had this elastic cord one of our viewers got a hold of us and so they were surprised we didn't try the elastic cord. I got a hold of some and I've been using it and it's, it really seems to work well. Especially if they're on a, you know, one of those tap, tap, tap bites. You know, they can't get it off and I've been hooking up even a little more using the elastic cord. So thanks to our viewer for that suggestion. I appreciate it. We had a viewer of Rods in the Dirt recommend using this elastic thread. We found it in a sewing, some type of sewing store. And it's pretty cheap. It's only about a dollar a spool. It's really, really pretty easy to use. You just get it started on there. You don't gotta tie any knots or anything. And wrap it around. And I just wrap it around a few times and then try to bring it up in a ball. And I don't really worry too much about where that second hook's at. It's in that ball somewhere and it'll get them a couple of our videos showed using just one single hook and it works real well most of the time but if you're getting a bunch of bites and they're they're just chewing it off and, and you're missing them you can always run that stinger hook and then run that elastic cord then you just take and snip it off and you're ready to cast it sometimes catching these smaller fish is just as fun as the big ones helps if you uh, when you're nipping at it if you pull it forward just a wee little bit and move it. 
they'll hit it then pretty good. They think it's getting away from them. It's the hunk of chicken liver. It's been a slow bite tonight. A lot of a lot of them just you know coming up and biting at it and then dropping it and biting at it and dropping it. What I like to do open up my bale and keep a loose line and I'm actually holding the line so that when it comes up and takes it let the line loose to the fish when it comes up and takes it it doesn't feel any tension if it's had it for a little while then you can click the veil shut i really like this rod that uh, paul sent me from renegade it's really cool it it's actually a two-piece rod and actually breaks down at the handle really nice i really like that it's a lot stronger there when you have a two-piece rod and maybe the joint is right here it's a weaker configuration and this one's nice because it's solid all the way through it's pretty much like a one-piece rod in the sense because the blank is completely solid so that makes for a better fishing rod too it's been a good rod i've caught quite a few fish already on it seems real strong and i i feel the bites real good it's real sensitive Thank you. 